Bicentennial Independence 200 years 1819-2019 Liberation Campaign May August 1819 History supported on history itself. After many frustrated attempts to achieve the independence of Venezuela on 1812, 1813 and 1814. And upon hearing about the imminent arrival of Pablo Morillo's royalist armies intending the reconquest, Simon Bolivar decided to travel to the islands of Jamaica and Haiti pretending to gain military support to attain an effective defense facing Pablo Morillo's invasion. He wrote in Jamaica a letter known in historiography as the Carta de Jamaica, a document worthy of acknowledgement since we find on it the Bolivar's main ideological principles of independence and liberty that kept his strong determination to accomplish the freedom of the Spanish colonies from the domination of the Spanish crown. While exiled in Jamaica and IT, he managed to get help and military support from Haitian President Alexandre Pétion, who provided the necessary military resources in order to return to Venezuela and secure the independence with the only condition from Pétion to Bolivar of a commitment in guaranteeing the liberation of the slaves. In the beginning, the military actions of Bolivar were far from successful. But by the end of 1818, he managed to settle in eastern Janos Plains near the banks of the river Orinoco with his accompanying armies. Simon José Antonio de la Santísima Trinidad, Bolívar, Palacios, Ponte y Blanco, devoted himself to promoting the Congress of Angostura. Inviting the provinces of Venezuela and Casanare to elect their delegates to the Congress, which was scheduled to take place on the 15th of February 1819 in Angostura. On the 15th of February 1819, Bolívar set in the town of Angostura present-day Ciudad Bolívar in Venezuela, on the banks of the river Orinoco, 
the first congress bearing the name of Congreso de Angostura, in which the liberty for Venezuela and New Granada was proclaimed. On the inauguration speech, Bolivar made a memorable lecture in front of the 26 delegates coming from Caracas, Cumaná, Barinas, Guyana, Margarita and Casanare. It was made clear that the ideological grounds of the new Republican government would be the sovereignty of the people, the separation of powers, the civil liberty, the proscription of the slavery and the abolition of the monarchy. Bolivar granted Santander permission to create a vanguard army and established it in Casanare. This army would be in charge of the planning and organization of the liberation campaign while monitoring the military movements of the Spanish commander José María Barreiro Manjón. From late 1815, Francisco de Paula Santander, along with other young men from diverse provinces, followers of the independence cause, moved to the eastern llanos of the vice royalty of New Granada, that is, the territories of Casanare and Arauca. By the year 1818, Bolivar and Santander managed to get in contact and later on, in June 1819, they will meet in order to begin the liberation campaign that would culminate with the Battle of Boyacá on August 7, 1819 and his triumphal entrance on the 10th of August, on the same year, into Santa Fe, the capital of the vice royalty. Pablo Morillo, Barreiro, Juan Sámano, the Royalists, forces, and the troops of Barreiro
had knowledge of the dangerous and threatening presence of the forces gathering in Casanare. Reason for which that location was the subject of military attention by the royalists. The royalist troops under the command of Barreiro on 1819 January tried to stop the advancing Patriot army who had previously gathered in Casanare. On these confrontations the royalists were defeated Santander informed Bolivar about the incoming clash with the forces of Barreiro. Which happened in April when the Patriots forced Barreiro to withdraw. Which represented the success of the guerrilla warfare method adopted by the Patriots. This way of waging war was based on the principle of fleeing when the enemy attacks and attacking when the enemy flees. April 1819 By April the 26th, Barreiro returned to his camp in Sogamoso. His health seriously affected by the effects of climate and weather in the Llanos de Casanare Plains. The Casanare campaign was absolutely positive for the Patriot cause from all the points of view since the Royalists ended exhausted and highly demoralized. The first Patriot success was for Bolivar a good test on the possibilities of victory waging a campaign in New Granada since the liberty in Casanare was now fully accomplished. The troops of Barreiro were convinced about the invasion of the Grenadian army coming from the road of Paya and the Tensa Valley. Because of that, Barreiro focused on all his attention in monitoring these territories. This actually favored the penetration of the Grenadian troops by Pisba 